Here's what's on the shipping table this morning. Uh, we sold some Atlas 70 ton hoppers, some Bowser, got a road railer in there. We're still selling these three packs of Atlas containers. This was a classic auto parts car. We had that for a while actually, but some of the stuff we only had for a week and that would be some of the used stuff here. A Santa Fe baggage car, containers. This is pretty cool. This was a custom crane from our previous video. Actually a lot of this stuff was from just the last video. We've been shipping it out very frequently. That is for sure. Guys getting hooked up with some Acurel 3 packs and some G-Scale couplers. Well, we're shipping out more stuff here. Um, yeah, a lot of these used locomotives here were sold within an hour or two of us listing them on our website. And that's the advantage of being on our newsletter list because they knew when they were going live. So we sold a bunch of them. And then of course we got some couplers and some box cars. So yeah, we got a lot, a lot of shipments today. And this is just half, not even half of it. Hey, it's Corey. Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, we have some O gauge and some O scale. So we'll be digging into this and seeing what we all found here. So if you're not familiar, we're a model train shop located in Pennsylvania. We have two locations and we just started selling online through our own website as well. On our website is where you'll find these items for sale first. So definitely check out the link in the description to buy. So without further ado, we're going to dig into this collection and see what we got. We have a Lionel built in the year 2000. ATSF number 23003. What I like about this car, it has the about the half doors there. And of course this is a stock car. Should have mentioned that right off the bat, but most of you guys know what's going on. Alright, looks to be in pretty good condition. Just needs some cleaning as far as it looks. Okay, here we have a New York Central box car. This is an MTH. So just taking a quick look at it, seems to be in pretty good condition. Just a little dirty, especially that truck there. Now the rest of these are Williams. So this is a Santa Fe stock car, ATSF 27751. Again, looks to be in pretty good condition. Like usual, just a little cleaning needed here. Here's a Western Pacific boxcar. Same thing, looks pretty good, just needs some cleaning up. I really like this car, so this is a Stewart's Root Beer car. And it goes under URTX 46211. This one's in really good shape too. A couple scuffs there, but you know, nothing too bad, especially if you guys weather your stuff, then that's just kinda you're getting ahead of things basically at that point. Well, I especially like this car because I like my Rock Island and bright cars. Yeah, this is really nice. So it looks to be pretty good. Kind of the same condition here all, all around. Just needs cleaning. And finally, we have a reefer car here, Riverside Fresh Milk. So it says this is Best Grocery Stores Incorporated. So pretty cool. Just needs a little cleaning. I see like hair and cobwebs and things like that. But again, I, I'll give it a, a quick brush off, but that'll probably be a little fine cleaning needed. Here we have some Lionel and boxes. This is product 6-16924. And this is a Lionel Corporation trailer on a flat car. So if you guys know Lionel, they like to promote their own brand. So this is quite interesting. So it's on a Lionel flat car number 6424. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I'll be opening these up to get some pictures and stuff, but just for the sake of time, kind of just go through them as quickly as possible here. Uh, coming from a shop here, it said that it was mint and they wanted 29 bucks for it. Is it still worth that much today? We will see. So definitely, you know, if you guys have questions about prices or anything, at this point, 
Um, I vaguely know what I bought everything for because we got this a few weeks ago. So we're just kind of showing everything off here just to get a quick glimpse of it. So all the business side of stuff um, kind of happens after I'm done with the video. So definitely check out the site. You guys can see the prices. We always try to be fair. We don't want to run a museum here. We want to lead with our best prices that we can. Our goal is to sell stuff within 30 days on the website. And the way things have been going, I think we're doing a pretty good job with it because um, it's been pretty crazy and we appreciate that. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, this is Lionel as well. 6-52044 Eastwood VAT car. So here it shows a Lionel VAT car number 52044 and the vats are Eastwood, so that's where the Eastwood comes from. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Again, this was considered mint before. Again, disregard the prices. Ours are usually lower when we can. Sometimes they're higher just because, you know, inflation and all that stuff. Well, not even inflation, but, you know, some things are just harder to find, especially if it truly is still in mint condition. Next up is the United States Navy flat car with boat. Product number 6-16939. Okay, so here we have the flat car. Again, navy, and the boat is removable. As far as I can see in the box here, everything's looking good. Next up, we have a Chesapeake and Ohio two-pack of passenger cars. We'll be selling them together. The first is 6 19148 and that is Chessy Club, which I'll point out in a minute. And then we have 6-19149, and that's a dining car, Gatsby Kitchen. Okay, so there's the dining car on top and Chessy Club passenger on the bottom. Yeah, definitely nice. Can't wait to open these up and check them out. But again, we'll be doing pictures and all that stuff kind of after the video goes. And we're always working on our flow, so We'll talk a little bit more about that. We're going to be working on our flow so we can bring the most entertaining videos possible to you guys. And another thing that's nice about this is we have the shipper as well. I always like when we're able to pick these up. So here we have flat cars with trailers. We got two different ones, a Southern Pacific on the top and North Chicago Northwestern Falcon Service on the bottom. All right, yeah, these really look nice. So we'll have to dig into them, make sure that they are mint for you guys. We won't want to mislead anybody. This box car on the top is quite interesting. It's Penn Dutch Meats. And this is actually a Crown model product. So that's pretty unique for sure. We have a Golden West Service box car here. I think some guys will like this. Ford Motor Company box car. And also from Weaver, we have a Red Ink. And this is the U.S. Savings Bond Scheme. Okay, a little bit of a rough box on this one, but here's a number 362 barrel loader. We'll see if it looks as nice as the box. <laughs> Hopefully a little nicer. Okay, here's the barrel loader. It looks actually to be pretty decent. We have six barrels with it. And I'm not sure if this actually was supposed to go with it. This random broken part there. The other thing looks maybe broken, but I'm not sure if that's even, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it actually went with this. It was just on the bottom of the box. All right, looks pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure if I actually have what it takes to test this because uh, my setup is MTH and I only have the basic stuff because we're just slowly getting into O scale. So I might just sell it untested and if it works, great you know I'll probably sell it at an untested price most likely so guys won't lose either way especially if you guys know how about doing little fixes but let's take a quick look at the bottom here hmm. it's not the worst electronics I've ever seen there I mean really I as far as it looks it looks pretty solid so can't see what could go wrong other than if the motor was bad there but we'll see, we'll see what happens with it. Sometimes these kind of items work best at our train shop because they're kind of big and clunky to ship, but we'll figure it out. 
All right, one item remains, and I'm pretty excited about this. Should be pretty cool to check these out. So this is a two pack. We'll be selling it as a set, of course. It's product number 6-21756. This is an overstamp boxcar set. We have Erie Lackawanna and Conrail, and we have Conrail and Penn Central. Let's see exactly what they're talking about. It's just like a quick patch. So here Conrail came in and they took over this Penn Central boxcar, just slapped their number on it there, and the logo right across the PC. So that's nice for just a quick fix until they have more time to paint it later. And the same thing with this Erie Lackawanna. We have the Conrail across the diamond there and CR new number right across the old number. So these boxcars are pretty cool in the sense that they were just like quick patches. So if you're modeling early Conrail or if you just model everything like me and you just like what you like, well, these might be up your alley. All right, well, here's where the fun begins for me. I get to open these things up, test them, clean them, price them out, uh, list them on the website. That's a big process too. Uh, maybe we'll show you guys in the future kind of like the behind the scenes of what all that involves. There's a lot of it that actually goes into it from the point of us uh, hitting stop on the video and starting up the production of these items as well. And I also wanted to say that we're going to be changing our life around a little bit. It's going to allow us a little more time for us to be able to record videos. And yes, Victoria will be here with me all the time, which should definitely make things more lively. Uh, I really like what she contributes to the business. So we've been at this since 2016. We just started as a little train shop with a $60 investment and we just been building up from there. Of course we like used stuff but we have new stuff as well. We take pre-orders, we do all that good stuff. We're in the process of looking for a location to build a model train shop here in our town. Uh, something that's a standalone and uh, not in a vendor mall like we're currently doing. So we'll definitely have some news coming in the next few weeks about like a mission update and maybe we'll do that behind the scenes video and show more of the things that happen at our shop. So with that said, I hope you guys get a chance to check out the website. Again, just click the link in the description. And I also like to comment the link too because some people can't find the description sometimes it seems. So anyways, check that out. You can see the pictures and hopefully the price is right for you so you can walk away with some of these cool O-Gage finds. And next week, we're going to try to wrap up the rest of the MTH that we have. We're hoping that we can accomplish it in one video, but possibly it might have to be two. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. We got plenty of locomotives here, so if you guys are looking for some of these, definitely be on your toes, subscribe to the newsletter because um, yeah, the MTH stuff goes fast. It's by far our most popular video series so far yet. And, well, it definitely deserves to be. It's been an awesome collection. Okay, guys. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.